when I keep him in a jog here, I want to be able to keep his cadence going. It's easy to pull them back on their hindquarters and get them to turn around, but I want to be able to get them to rein and, and keep those hind feet driving. See there? Keep those hind feet driving. Keep those hind feet driving. So if I can keep those hind feet driving, that way I just keep that, that rein. I can work on my reining right here and just keep, keep him straight, keep him shoulder. And it simulates that rein. It simulates going around the corners and, and steering a lot better than it would if I'm just sitting there and just trying to roll him back on his hocks. Not to say I don't do that, but right here I want to just keep driving him up, driving him up, driving him up, driving him up. Just keep those front feet crossing, and I want to drive and keep those hind feet driving, see? Now, this is this would be the opposite that's pulling him back here, to getting that hind foot locked up, just like right there, you know? And and if I'm if I really want to be able to work on some some turnarounds here, this is the way I do it, is I drive him forward, drive him forward, drive him forward. Now I slowly just bring that in. But on a particular rope horse, I don't have to do this, but I just slowly bring, you watch those hind feet start to slow down, start to slow down. There he's, there and I, the front end, just a little bit. I'm not gonna get the hind feet to stop, but there it is right there, starting to slow down. I, and I keep that cadence going, I keep that cadence going. You see right here, I'll keep him in a lope. And I can do the same thing at a lope right here. Well, I can just keep driving him up into this lope. Just keep this cadence going, see? Keep the cadence going so I feel the hind feet. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. See how straight he is. And he keep reaching up with that inside left hind leg. There we go. Now I'll bring him back down to a jog. I'll bring him back down to a jog. Now I can just do it out of jog. Stepping, step, 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 step. Watch how my hands are. I've got his shoulders forward. I'm using my reins, not my legs. His shoulders forward. I'll come around over here. You watch how I ride with my hands forward. I'm not pulling on his mouth. When I go across here, I have my hands forward, hands forward, hands forward, hands forward. I don't want him to shut down. I don't want him to shut down. I want to keep him going, keep him at a cadence. Work on that outside shoulder. Work, make sure that those eyes and ears are level to the ground. There he went to, he went to jog, went to, went to walk right there. So I want to just keep it going. There we go, that feels good. That feels good, so I'll let him out of it. There we go. I'll wait on him right here. Wait on him to give. Went on right there he gave, I softened up to him. You know, those little exercises right there on just, just that simple little exercise, not getting his hind feet to stop, getting his hind feet to keep driving, but also staying in that circle and getting those shoulders just stepping around right there is so good for any horse, no matter what you're doing. Steering, guiding, turnarounds, if you want to call it spins, whatever. You've got to be able to have that front end working and you've got to be able to get that horse to where he moves off that outside rein and bring, the, bring those shoulders without struggling being on his hind end to start hopping in those turns. If you got a horse that starts hopping in those turns and don't have any speed, that's because you've brought them on their hind end too, too quick and you've never allowed that front end to kind of move and, and feel free. You get that front end freed up first and then if you want to move them on their hind end, it's easy to move them on their hind end. I tell you, it'll go a long way. So, hope that helps. <laughs>